Live from Capitol Field, some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Binghamton Rumble Ponies and the Portland Sea Dogs. First pitch coming your way next. Thorne getting ready to hit three hits last night. So he was a big factor in getting that win. Now a screamer into the outfield. Nice grab on the run. That is the inning. And now the first baseman, Thorne. He's 0 for 1. If you're trying to keep the line moving, this is the guy you want at the plate. Such a good hitter. Can also flash some power. Swing and a deep drive. This one's got a chance. Way back there. And boom goes the dynamite. He'll touch them all, and they add on. It's 4 nothing, and a nice moment for him there. One he'll certainly remember. That's his first double-A home run. And trust me, getting that first long ball out of the way at any level comes as a nice relief, and not just for him, but for the organization as well. They're hoping he ends up being a major part of the big league club for years to come. Tyler McDonough digs in now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Right-hander kicks deals. On the ground left side. Six. Four. Three. But it's not in time. And they just get one. Three. But it's not in time. And they just get one. Welcome back. And now the right fielder, Tyler Esplin. the Sea Dogs. The right fielder, Tyler Esplin. And a ground ball to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Now well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good. Now, now here is Number Thorne. He's already homered in this game. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Williams around third. He scores. It's 5-2. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there. So once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. Manager out of the dugout now. And it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Number 68 won't go any further. And he's not going to be happy with himself. New pitcher on the mound in a moment. Taylor Broadway takes over on the mound. He's making his second appearance of the season. Taylor Broadway. And next will be the cleanup hitter, number 18. Off the mark there. And now three balls and a strike. And ball four to a board. The left fielder, number 11. Number 11 Johnson. now at the plate. Oh, He's yeah. 0 for 1. All well, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. Not hey, even ball. close one. there. And now 3 and 1. Activity in the bullpen. Michael Geddes getting ready to go. 
Gomez getting loose as well. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. No outs, runners at first and second. And that one in the air center field. Puts it away for the out. Now batted, designated hitter, Jalen Davis. Now here is Jalen Davis. Runners at first and second with one gone. Ripped to first, caught. Wide throw, and it gets away. Throw behind the runner, they've got him doubled off. So a run on one. Thorne will hit next. He's already homered here in this one. Go with pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit. Step off. Just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Line drive. And that's a base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Now the third baseman, number 18. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. One out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. One, two now. And another ball. Movement in the bullpen. Number 21 appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Salucci warming up as well. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Rio Gomez comes on now. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here. So we'll see how it works out. Here's the left fielder, number 11. At the belt and fires. Lifted in the air right center field. McDonough trots over to his left. Makes a nice running catch. And that's the third Ladies out. Gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Now the number now two hitter, Tyler McDonough. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Pogue, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at-bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. On the ground, right side. Takes it himself. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Trailing by four runs can be pretty tough, especially when there's good pitching on the other side. But these guys just kept fighting. They never gave up. And that's why they got back in the ball game and came away with the win in this one. Our final score here, 9-5. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.